Hello everyone, welcome to the video on question and answer explanation for the topic blood products. Let us see the questions one by one. The first question is whole human blood is contraindicated in options are hypovolemia, congestive heart failure, exchange transfusion, all of the above. Now let us understand the concept. See, whole human blood contains the blood which is taken from a donor. It contains plasma as well as blood cells. Now, in which of the following condition it is contraindicated? The first option is given as hypovolemia. Now, hypovolemia means reduced blood volume. Hypo means less, vol means volume, emia means blood. Now, for to treat reduced blood volume, the, the indication or the treatment is giving whole human blood. So, it is not contraindicated. In fact, it is indication. So, option A is not correct. Now, option B, congestive heart failure. Now, congestive heart failure is a condition in which heart is failed to contract properly. One of the muscle is damaged. Because it is not contracting properly, blood will get accumulated or pooled inside the heart. And that condition is called as congestion of blood. So, overall, the condition is known as congestive heart failure and in which the cardiac output is reduced. Now, in such situation, if you transfuse whole blood, the volume is increased. Already blood could not pump and blood is getting congested inside the heart. If you increase the volume, what happens? It worsens the condition. So, for congestive heart failure, whole human blood transfusion is contraindicated. So, option B is correct. Let us see what is the option C. Is. Option C is exchange transfusion. Now, this is a process in which uh, uh, from a patient blood is removed and a donor blood is slowly uh, uh, transfused. It is called as exchange transfusion. For this also, whole human blood is used. So, fourth one is all of the above. No, it is not. So, option B, in congestive heart failure, whole human blood transfusion is contraindicated. Now, let us see the next question. Shelf life of RBC with acid citrate dextrose anticoagulant is? Options given are 21 days, 35 days, 5 days and 1 year. Now, see, red blood cell concentrate uh, uh, for that preservative could be three things. Either acid citrate dextrose or heparin or EDTA. Now, while using acid citrate dextrose, what is the shelf life? That is what is the question. Now, the first one is given as 21 days. Now, 21 days is shelf life for whole human blood with ACD, acid citrate dextrose. So, it is not the answer. Second one is 35 days. Yes, 35 days is the shelf life of RBC with ACD. Five days, usually platelets has got shorted duration of action. It lasts for only five days. Now, one year, certain uh, uh, fresh frozen plasma, dried things will be there for one year. So, option here for shelf life of RBC is 35 days. So, this is the answer. Now, let us go to the third question. Now, lyophilization involves options given are freezing, sublimation, desiccation, all of that. Now, understand, see, lyophilization is a process in which water is removed. Dehydration pro process. It involves three steps. The first one is freezing. The, the solution is taken and it is freezed at minus 80 degrees centigrade or something like that. So what happens in the step, whatever water is there, it is turned into ice form. Now second process is called as primary drying. In this primary drying, the solution is subjected to vacuum. So in the presence of vacuum, the solid ice is directly converted to water vapor. It is called a sublimation. Now third process is called a secondary drying in which desiccation, remaining water is removed. So, all these three are the three steps in lyophilization. So, the answer is option D, all of the above. Now, the last one, fresh frozen plasma, plasma is used to treat. Options given are anticoagulation reversal, burns, shock and all of the above. Now, understand, fresh frozen plasma is only plasma part. All the blood cells are removed from the uh, whole blood. So, whatever you have, it is only fresh frozen plasma. It contains a lot of coagulation factors. Now, see the option here. Option here says anticoagulant reversal. When someone uses anticoagulation, coagulation will not occur. That means the subject may have profuse bleeding. To reverse that, you need coagulation factors are required. Where do you have coagulation factors? In plasma. So, fresh frozen plasma can be used to reverse anticoagulation. So, option A is correct. Option B, burns. During severe burns, the skin loses its integrity and plasma will be leaked out. So, plasma volume depletion is there in burns. So, to treat that also fresh frozen plasma is used. Third one is shock. What is shock? Decreased perfusion is called a shock. It occurs when there is decreased blood plasma volume is there. So, in shocks also fresh frozen plasma is given to replenish the plasma volume. So, option D all of the above is the correct answer. So, this is about blood products and their uh, question and answer explanation. I hope this is useful. All the best.